let's talk about picking gear ratios for your trucks. So we'll touch base on um, the years of Cummins trucks, the rest of the stuff. Um, I, I could do another video on other vehicles if you want. Let me know down in the comments. But we are talking today about how to pick gear ratios for your truck. Now, you need to figure out, there's a few things that you need to know before you can figure this out. So, very first thing, let me erase this off here. Very first thing you do need to know, this will work for any vehicle, this part of it. So, basically, you need to know what your optimal engine temp, or engine temperature, sorry. I was just doing a temperature video a minute ago. You need to know your optimal RPM range. So your RPM that you want the engine to be at, RPM target, let's say. If I knew how to spell target, we'd be laughing. So you need to know your RPM target that you want to be on the highway. So, and some of this is based off how fast you're driving. Not everywhere is the same speed. Like here in, in um, Alberta, Canada, our highway speed is 70 miles an hour, pretty close, 68 miles an hour. Um, it's in kilometers, so it doesn't do a complete switch over. But in Ontario, your, high, your general highway speed, um, like not talking the main highways, they're 110 kilometers an hour, which is what, 60 five miles an hour let's say but your general you know your general roads are um, 80 kilometers an hour which is only 45 miles an hour so some of that may doesn't make a difference but you need to know your target rpm so if you want to be your target rpm in a 12 valve or vp44 or my opinion your target rpm giving you a 100, 100 rpm window in my opinion is going to be well 200 rpm window is between 2000 and 2100 and 2000 RPM. So 1800 to 2000 RPM. So whatever your engine is, that's for 12 valve, 12 valve VP44. The common rails are, can be a little bit lower, I find. You can go like down to about, I, I don't really like being below um, CDR, which is common rail diesel. I don't really like the almost 1700. I personally still like this 1800 to 2000, myself personally. But if you figure out your target RPM, whatever engine you're working with, doesn't matter the engine. So you just have to figure out, and you can usually just do a little tiny bit of Googling around and it'll tell you that. This is where I like the Cummins stuff. Every engine's a little bit different, obviously. Um, but that in this realm for the Cummins stuff. So you need to know your target RPM. So we want to target, let's say we're talking about 12 L. We do lots of 12 valve, lots of you guys run a 12 valve. We're gonna, we're gonna target our this calculation between 1800 and 2000 RPM. So also on that, if you're running empty, this can be lower. I'm talking towing, like using the truck as a truck. If you're towing really heavy, I like to be on the high end. If you're towing a little lighter, you can be on the lower end. I prefer to have a little higher RPM. I find the engine breathes better. It tends to cool better. DGTs are lower because you're higher RPM. So take it as you may. So now we know what we got to get for a target RPM. Now we need to know our speed that we want to be driving, right? So our, like our speed limit here is 110 kilometers an hour, 70 miles an hour. And I usually, not saying that I would ever speed, I usually go 75 miles an hour. That's how fast miles per hour. That's how fast... I put 72, 75, wow. Sorry guys, I swear I can sometimes write, but today ain't one of them. So our, our target RPM to be buzzed down the highway, 75 miles an hour, if that's how fast you wanna go. This, this is whatever, however fast you wanna be going, whatever your average, your average speed is gonna be, that's where you wanna put your, our, your gear ratio setup in. You know, if you're only on the highway, like highway, highway speeds, 20% of the time and the engine runs a little higher on the RPM, it's not going to hurt anything as long as it's not screaming. Um, but if your average is, you know, 50 miles an hour, do this calculation on 50 miles an hour because it just make you want to put it in your normal operating range, right? Best idea to do it that way. Now, 
the next thing is you need to know, okay, what gear ratio does my transmission have in it? Trans have. So I know that in my truck, because I have a 47RH and a 48RE is the same, but, and I'll show you a way to look it up here in a minute, but mine, my final gear ratio is 0.69. That's my final gear ratio locked up in overdrive. So you need to know this number. These are numbers, you need to know all of these numbers to be able to figure this out properly. So the trans, whatever trans you have, mine is a 47RH. Wow. My brain's moving faster than my hands here, boys. I'm 47RH, which is the same as all of the three, or all the four speed um, Dodges. So then your next one is you need to know what you're running for a tire. So if you're going to switch tires, you need to know what tire you're going to run to be able to select the right gear ratio. And you can't really swap tire sizes back. You can swap them a little bit up and down, but not a drastic change. Otherwise it throws this, this whole calculation out the window. So on my truck, being we're based off my truck, my truck has 35 inch tall tires on it. In the winter or in the summertime, they're 34s basically, pretty close anyway. So 35 inch, inch tall tire, tall tire. Like I said, this is super easy stuff to know. So if you're, whatever tire you're gonna run on the truck, like I said, you need to know some of this information uh, to be able to go into this to make an educated decision because doing a set of gears in a truck is not the cheapest venture in the world. So, especially if it's four wheel drive because now you're doing two sets of gears. If you don't like them, then you're kind of hooped. You, you basically, if you put the wrong set of gears in, you kind of have two options. Is Well, there's more than two options, but basically two options in my mind. You either need to go up or down in the size of tire to help compensate a little bit, or you need to rechange the gears. So obviously neither of them are cost effective, but tires are cheaper. But that is only kind of a band-aid to the problem, not actually fixing the problem. So now we have this range. So I want to be between 1,800 and 2,000 RPM because that's my target. My target, I'm gonna be shooting for two, about 2,000. Because I'm running um, on the highway, I'm running between 70 and 75 miles an hour. It just depends on how I feel that day. I don't ever usually go fast for that when I'm towing a trailer, it just doesn't make sense to me. You can drive however fast you want, but just is what it is. My transmission ratio is 0.69, and we're running a 35 inch tall tire. So we're gonna go over to the computer, and hopefully you guys will be able to see this easy. I don't know. I know sometimes the computers will flicker. Well, they kind of flicker at you and they're hard for you to see. Hopefully this one will be okay. Okay, hopefully that's okay for you guys to see. I will put a link in the description for this. So there is a, it's called randysworldwide.com calculators transmission rpm ratio i will put a, a link in the description there's no affiliate or anything i just this is the one that i use so if you're interested you can use it so it's going to give you your all the stuff you have to put in here right so what you need to do whatever transmission you're running it gives you a whole list of transmissions so if you just scroll down here here is a um 48 re which is what or mine's a 47 rh but it's the same basically they're all the same gear ratio so i don't know if they have i don't imagine they probably have 47 rh in here too probably i don't know they don't actually but anyways they're all the same anyway um all the re's and rh's are the same so your 0.69 so we are going to put our our 0.69 in here so our transmission ratio so ring and pin, that's what RMP is for ring and pin. I am running, let's say, let's say we're gonna do a three, four, five. I already know what size is. I already know all this because I've already done this. We're gonna run at 70 miles an hour, and our transmission ratio is 0.69. You hit, well, I gotta hit solve. That would be on at 70 miles an hour, we would be 1641 RPM. My opinion, that's too low. <laughs> now you you can do just ramp up your rpm or ramp up your speed if you want 
but it's still too low, my opinion. So what we're gonna do here is 70 miles an hour, a 410 gear. You can run, you know, just gotta figure out what, what gear ratios you can get for whatever rear end you're using. So now we're in this realm here, right? We're a 410 gear, 35 inch tall tire, 70 miles an hour gear ratio, and we're at 1900. And we're shooting for 18. We were shooting for 18 to 2000 RPM, right? We're in the realm. So now if you're going 75 miles an hour, right, is what kind of what we figured we'd be going. We're 2000. 37, right? So you're right in that realm of where you want to be. And that's the reason my truck has a 410 gear in it with a 35. I run between 70 and 75 miles an hour and that's my gear ratio. So that's how I, you know, it's it, very simple to figure this out. It's not really too difficult. I know lots of people have a hard time and don't know how to choose and all this stuff. You just have to have some of the information because if I was running my truck, let's say, um, in Ontario, where I'm going to be going um, slower, I'm going to be going 45 miles an hour. You you kind of running this same gear ratio setup. You're only 1,200 RPM, so you you have a problem at this point with this transmission in overdrive. Is what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to run the truck not in overdrive. So what is our? I don't know off the top of my head. So you're one to one. You're one to one in third gear. So I should have known that. So if we're at do one to one at 45 miles an hour, we're at 1700 RPM, which is really close to where that, where that realm, because usually you're gonna go a little faster than the speed limit anyway, usually, right? So then you're in your 1850 at, at 47 miles an hour. So there's sometimes you gotta have to, you know, monkey around a little bit. You know, you might have to go a little fast, a little slower, turn your overdrive off. And now if you're running a standard transmission, you have to be a little bit more careful with that. So let's just scroll down to our, where are we here? I seen it. And these, oh, I must've passed them. Going too fast for my brain. So we're 0 0.75 and a one to one in fifth, or in fourth, sorry. So 0.75, let's say, if you run a 410 gear, 410 gear with a 35 at 75 miles an hour you're going to be a pretty good rpm right so that's where it makes a big difference now that's still an rpm you can run it's just going to be a little bit harder on fuel so either that or you know you got to slow down a little bit it just depends on how fast you drive you're down right into that realm where i would like to see if you're only running 75 miles an hour with a 410 gear and a 35 Right now, if you go into that one to one, you're one to one, and you're going 45 miles an hour, you're 1700. So you're you're still in a decent range, but if you go into fifth gear now, which would be 0.75, you're pretty low. So see what I mean? It's one of those things where. You kind of have to, you have to know the RPM or you have to know the speed that you want to be going. Because if you're not, if you're not paying attention to the speed that you're going all the time. Yeah, that speed side of things is, uh, is definitely a critical thing. Like all of these numbers are pretty critical as far as the thing goes. So you kind of have to have an idea what you're doing. Like I said, I like this, this RPM range for a 12 valve or a VP44 engine. But you can run a little higher like in my truck if i'm buzzing down the road like 80 miles an hour i'm like 2200 rpm a little bit harder on fuel but i would rather be higher in the rpm than lower in the rpm um, the engine breathes a little better runs a little cooler egt's wise that type of stuff right um, but also that being said if the truck is set up with very tight turbos and all that type of stuff your higher rpm um, you're going to run hotter so it's like with that with my 12 valve when I had the K27 with the S476 on it. Heater always starts when I'm on the thing. Anyways, um, at that higher RPM, it was running out of out of air. So with a 354 gear, it would have actually been a little bit better. So that's part of the reason that I upgraded, put a little bit bigger turbo for my um, secondary. So anyways, just to be forewarned, 
a lot of that is you want to know RPM wise where you're going to be. And we're going to do some stuff this summer um, with turbo setups and RPM ranges and that type of stuff, just so you guys are aware. Um, and I do have some cool stuff coming down the pipeline, which will probably be in the next video after that, after this one that I want to talk about. So like, subscribe, hit me down in the comments. And remember, you're not rocket science.